Honor Club, where honor is real. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another edition of Restoring Honor. I am your host, the professional, Rhett Titus. And today, we're going to take a look at a match that was chosen in the Ring of Honor Facebook experience page. We're going back to the very first fight without honor. It's Loki versus Samoa Joe from the very first glory by honor. We are at the Murphy Rec Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And this is Samoa Joe's debut in Ring of Honor. As you can tell from the opening moments of this match, this is uh, definitely something a little bit different than what people were used to at the time. And he has a whole different style to him. A little bit of a mixture of uh, striking and MMA that Samoa Joe brought to the table. Became the Ring of Honor champion. And don't forget to peep out uh, Samoa Joe's nice blonde uh, dye job that he has there. And Loki's got to be seething because he's not getting a chance to win. Loki has Samoa Joe mounted. He's just raining down on some shots. Trying to soften him up. And you got to think that the prophecy. This is a very uh, forgotten and about match in all the classics of uh, over the years of Ring of Honor. And to be honest, I don't know why, but why this was forgotten about because this match is simply put badass as you, these guys are just exchanging forearms, headbutts, punches, whatever they can do. And he'll do that. Wrestling fans, you are right. Now on first impression, uh, looking at Samoa Joe, I didn't really expect much because he was uh, a lot heavier than your traditional Ring of Honor wrestler, but boy, oh boy, did he change my mind. Loki trying to keep Loki Samoa seems Joe to have a uh, around here and Samoa Joe turning it over uh, arm bar but Joe a, turns into a single leg crab Loki there I think that he was trying to get some sort of arm submission on Samoa Joe now, uh, Samoa like Joe I was saying before this was the very first fight without honor and that ankle that having previously uh, wrestled in the most recent fight without honor with myself and Jonathan Gresham versus homicide and Chris Dickinson thought it would be extra cool to go back in time and look at the very first fight without honor as they say often a little bit different uh, style than what you guys may have saw at this year who's best in the world, but the fight is definitely still there, and that's exactly what these two guys are doing. Referee Mike Keener. This is a big, strong, powerful individual, and this is a man, he'll, he'll hit you, and he's not afraid to take it right back. Big chop. That's going to do nothing but make Joe angry. <laughs> And just a smack to the face. Oh boy, and here we go. These guys are just raining down shots. Oof. Oh, oh, oh forearms. Oh, and the kicks. Several Joe is on fire here with some big chest kicks. Now, Loki uh, at the Ring of Honor show previously, the month before, it was uh, Ring of Honor unscripted. Loki actually lost. The Ring of Honor World Title. Oh, a kick right to the nose. He lost to uh, lost the Ring of Honor World Title um, to Xavier. R.I.P. Xavier. But that just had taken place the month before, and now Loki was looking to get back on track. And what a way to get back on track against Samoa Joe as the crowd is on their feet, showing their appreciation for both men. And a one count. <laughs> Barely even a one count, though. What a sign of disrespect there. As Joe did not make the trip all the way from California to Philly just to play around. Those double chops put down just about everybody Loki. Now, this being Joe's debut, it really cemented him as a top guy in Ring of Honor. And I... Let's see, this was in October, and by March, Samoa Joe was the Ring of Honor world champion. And he levels a huge clothesline. You know, I think it's real appropriate Samoa Joe uses that Godzilla music to come out because this guy is Godzilla. And a one Only a one count. It's going to take a lot more to put these two men down. Joe just punishing A lot of kicks from Joe, followed by a big suplex. Still only a one count and transitions right into an arm bar. Now, something that you got to consider at this time, uh, so this was 2002, 
uh, MMA wasn't as popular as it is uh, nowadays. So a lot of these uh, holds and maneuvers that these guys are uh, busting out is a lot a lot of people in attendance first time seeing anything like this. I was probably about 14 or 13. Somewhere around there. The longer this match goes, well, when this match took place, German suplex. Because obviously, you know, I was in attendance. Uh, there couldn't be a Ring of Honor show in Philly that I didn't get to. Loki, he's got that physical condition. He went an hour. Joe clinching that full Nelson. But Loki breaking it and trying to get a. Trying to get it on the big man. Like a, almost like a modified octopus stretch here, but can't hold on to it for long. As we're only in the opening minutes of this match, but these guys are both starting to get sweaty and slippery. And the ends of Geary there by Loki. You know, this is great to see. Now a waist lock from Loki. He's wrestling at such a high level right now. And just a headbutt to the spot. <laughs> a tiger suplex. And finally, a two count in this match. You just gotta love the uh, basketball hoop in the background. Wasn't really any way to shoot around it as there was basketball hoops on all four sides of the building. But at least they uh, put the Ring of Honor banner over top of it. Uh, you know, definitely helps for the presentation. But we've come a long way from the Murphy Rex Center. And now we see Loki taking out the knee. So he's got a bit of a strategy himself, the same strategy that Samoa Joe used on him. Very smart, reducing them in size. That's what you got to do if you're Loki. Loki now, it's in body strikes. Yeah. Get him doubled up. Big chest kick, Bob I chop, and Joe's having none of that. <laughs> and just smacking each other. What an exchange. <laughs> and a jumping in Zaguri from Loki brings Joe to the ground and the fans to their feet. They are just beating each other up without a doubt. Only a one count. Still only a one count. This is just two tough men duking it out. It doesn't get Joe had been uh, making a name for himself over in California for UPW and various California Indies while Loki was over here on the East Coast, uh, making for a name for himself in places like Ring of Honor and uh, ECWA and ICW in New York and uh, you know a bunch of other indies. And uh, this was kind of a, a dream match at the time. And here's Joe's face washes. Oh, running foot right through. Good morning, Doug Gentry on the outside recording. On camera, R.I.P. Doug Gentry, one of the founding fathers of Ring of Honor. Gun than Samoa Joe. And Joe with a big power bomb, and he's gonna go right over into the STF, a signature that we would see of Samoa Joe's for years to come. Step over to a whole face lock, and Loki's in trouble. And just look at the way the knee is bending on Loki. Try to do that at home and uh, try to bend your knee like that and see how it feels. He passed out. That's how he lost that one at Round Robin Challenge. So I doubt you're going to see Tapir and he brings Joe over. But Loki reverses it right into an armbar. And Joe managed to just get the ropes. Right into the ropes. Loki working that shoulder area. But Joe just fires back with a huge slap. Right now to a submission and Loki going to work on that. Joe tries deadlifting Loki but cannot do it with his arm. He's been worked over throughout this match. And a Saido suplex dropping Samoa Joe on his dome. And they're gonna replay that one. Oh, goodness. It might be October 5th. If you have never been Saido suplex, just imagine all your vertebrae in your spine just all compressing down at once. For that dragon clutch, I believe. Oh, yeah. He's trying to turn him off. Now Loki trying to get into that dragon sleeper, one of his signatures. He doesn't quite Joe. Samoa Joe. Locking him. If he gets him in this, he's here with the. Samoa Joe, I think, is he's just powering. He is powering. Oh, what is this? He's deadlift into a. Death Valley driver. And both men are dead. Joe picking up the lifeless body of Loki. Setting up. Joe looking for the island driver and he hits it. 
No foot on but the ropes. Loki gets the foot on the ropes. The Island Driver, Samoa Joe, will go on to win many of Ring of Honor matches with that maneuver, but not enough to put Loki away. But Loki again. As you mentioned, they would get the rope. Now, after this match happened, obviously this match was very, very much talked about because it was so much different than a lot of other matches that we had seen. And people clamored for a rematch between the two, but we never got a rematch between these two guys. As Loki just kicked Joe in the spine, and that did nothing but both these guys anger on each other with all their strength. the Samoan submission machine they both just will not stop here we go <laughs> and back to the slaps and he snapmares Loki over and kicks him right in the spine and we're gonna have a little bit of a duel here until now up until these kicks these two we're gonna come down with some blows oh huge four they are striking each other these two men trading back and forth smacks forearms Whatever it may be. And a run in Yakuza. And Loki and not to be outdone, Loki follows it up with one, but a big clothesline takes him down with a flying Yakuza. And another big clothesline. The size difference uh, proving to be a, uh, a difference in this match right here. Killing each other in there. And now... Spinning back fist, followed by another one. The third gets stopped by Loki. Oh, there's and here's the Kawada kicks, just kicking him right in the face. There's no way those can feel good. The only thing that's holding him up is the ropes. And Jaloki. He's some knees right on the chin. This could be the flurry he needs to finally put Samoa Joe away. Joe, Joe, one last effort right there, one last shot. <laughs> And down goes Joe, and with that, that succession of strikes turns out to be the knockout blow that brought Joe down. Now, if you see an orange shirt, gray hat kid cheering right there, that is me right there in the second row. <laughs> I have been your host, the professional Red Titans, and I want to know what you guys want to see next time. Drop it in the comments. Let us know. I'll go back in the vault. I'll dig these matches up. You guys are the best wrestling fans on the planet. And you guys come back here each and every time and support the best wrestling on the planet. So until next time, thank you guys very much. It has been an honor.